Now, as well as the people of Bristol electing a mayor, we're also getting the chance to vote for a police and crime commissioner on Thursday. Yes, there'll be one for each of the five police forces across the South West. Their job is to hold chief constables to account to set forces budget and give us all a greater say in cutting crime. Wiltshire is the oldest police force in the country. There are six candidates standing for election and Rebecca Broxton's been to meet them. Over the past year, crime has fallen across Wiltshire by 3%, but drugs-related offences have increased by 14%. The government's spending review has meant that the force has had to cut its budget by £5 million and it needs to find another £10 million of savings over the next four years. So, what are the main priorities of the candidates standing for Wiltshire's Police and Crime Commissioner? Angus McPherson is the Conservative Party candidate. He's an accountant, is a former Swindon Borough councillor and former member of the police authority. I think antisocial behaviour is one that affects us all and uh, that, that's caused by a few people but actually has a massive impact. They are people that have come out of the system already, rehabilitation. They're people that are doing it today that need to be brought to book. And we also need to be spending money on making sure that young people growing up don't get into this life of antisocial behaviour. Claire Moody is Labour's candidate. She's a Unite Union official and was the former Labour candidate for Salisbury in the 2005 general election. Firstly, neighbourhood policing teams and protecting those from the cuts and building on what was put in place by the, form of the previous Labour government. Also making sure that victims are at the heart of the justice system across Wiltshire. And indeed looking after people who are you know, victims of less reported crimes and less visible crimes, but who are suffering from government cuts. Paul Batchelor represents the Liberal Democrats. He chairs Warminster's Police Neighbourhood Tasking Group and is a former West Wiltshire District Councillor. Antisocial behaviour affects all our communities, whether it's in the neighbourhoods or in the town centre. And I would want to support our much valued and respected neighbourhood police teams. Uh, another one would be drug related crime, which accounts for over 50% of all crime. So I would tackle the dealers and have those removed from the top of the chain. Another one would be victims. I think victims should be an important part of any police plan. John Short is standing for the UK Independence Party. He's a former Swindon Borough Councillor and former Swindon Council Deputy Chief Executive. My first priority would be to make sure that Wiltshire is made a safer place. Uh, not that it isn't at the moment, but it needs a lot more attention in, in uh, hotspot areas. I'd also increase the police force by 150 officers, which is very doable. Uh, knowing our budgets operate, being in local count, government, local councils for you, the last 25 years, so I understand the budgets, left, right and centre, uh, can bring a more even-handed approach to the police force. Colin Skelton is an independent candidate. A special constable, he's worked in counter-terrorism research. My number one commitment is to recruit more police officers and I want to recruit 300 new officers over a four year period. I'm doing that for two reasons. One, the, the evidence shows that police officers aggressively targeting and preventing crime will, will drive crime down. And I, I, want that, I want that to happen. But my second reason is to do with an economic reason. If you spend more money on police officers, you, you save more money and the cost of 300 officers is £12 million but the benefit to the county would be around about £60 million. Finally, Liam Silcox, again an independent who's campaigned against police corruption. He works in IT and telecoms and previously for the Citizens Advice Bureau. So one of the first things that I want to do if I'm elected is I want to try and rebuild the trust and confidence between the public and the police. We need to make sure that mistakes around cases such as Rebecca Godden's don't happen anymore. We need to investigate them. And we also need to be asking the Chief Constable questions around a historic case in 1989 around the death of Hensley Wiltshire. So, six candidates. Who'll get the job? Well, on Thursday, the people of Wiltshire will decide. Rebecca Broxton in Wiltshire for the West Country tonight.